As China continues to deploy its military troops in all parts of eastern Ladakh, what China had also occupied during 1962 was 38,000 square kilometer of Indian territory. That means it was almost area of Kerala state. UN Defense Minister Rajnath Singh asserted recently in Parliament that China still illegally occupies this 38,000 square kilometer of land in Ladakh. The Chinese actions reflect a disregard of various bilateral agreements between two countries. Disregarding all agreements, China continues its military deployment in India-China border. China attempts to make an ingress into various parts of eastern Ladakh, which include Gogra, Kongla and north and south banks of Pangongli. Even when diplomatic and military-level discussions are going on, China constantly attempts to violate the line of actual control. Chinese efforts to violate the status quo form an impediment to the ongoing peace discussions. In short, border issues are getting worse than that have been revealed to the world. Speaking in Lok Sabha, the Union Defence Minister stated that India is very serious about issues of sovereignty and territorial integrity, and the country is prepared for all contingencies to ensure that is maintained. He also added that the House must remain confident that our armed forces will face this challenge successfully, and they have succeeded in defeating the Chinese moves. As India is committed to resolve the border issues through peaceful dialogue and consultation, India's Defence Minister met his Chinese counterpart in Moscow on September 4. But even before the meeting, reports of opening fire in many instances along the border came out. The report stated that up to 200 shots were fired in the air on the north bank of Pangong Lake in Finger 3, 4 areas. The Indian Army fired in air to intimidate the Chinese as they intruded into the area. Chinese troops too fired in the air and attempted to infiltrate, thereby provoking the Indian troops. In the meeting of defense ministers in Moscow, no decisions were taken to restore peace. India clearly put the concerns before China and asked it to end provocative activities. India also put forth the need to continue peace talks between two nations. But in the press release issued after the meeting, China alleged India was a reason for provocation. News Desk, Kaumati English.